Welcome back guys. Today I just wanted to make this quick and useful video on how you can tune your CVT on the buggy, scooter, ATV, quad on these 150s, 50s, 250s, 300s. It all works on anything that has a CVT in it. Tuning your CVT is the most useful mod you can do to your application because it dictates how the power is sent to the ground. It's pretty important and if you have all the required tools, which there aren't that many, then I would strongly recommend that you do tune your CVT. There's going to be two parts to this inside the video. The first part is going to be replacing the mainspring inside the clutch. There's one mainspring and there's three little springs inside the clutch. The three little springs I won't be messing with, but uh, for the second part, I'm just going to go over the variator and how it works and how to tune it. There's these little roller weights inside the variator that I'm going to be changing out. The roller weights will also dictate how your CVT shifts gears. The CVT basically has two gears, overdrive and underdrive. And the variator, the pulleys, the weights, the clutch, all that stuff dictates how the CVT alternates its gears and how it gives you more speed in your torque. It's pretty simple, although it might sound complicated. But yeah, guys, let's get into this. So how CVTs work? There's two different gears and the variator variates the the way the belt rides on this clutch so that controls your speed and your torque adding a stronger spring it will help you stay in the lower gear longer for more acceleration and it won't do anything to top speed it all depends on what kind of vehicle or buggy or whatever you have i had to pull the clutch cover out which was like nine bolts what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna pull off this clutch the, the procedure should be pretty much universal on any 150 250 scooter buggy atv so one way you can pull that nut off is with an impact gun but if you don't have an impact gun you could just use some locking pliers to hold it in place and just break it loose but i'm gonna use an impact gun perfect there's the clutch I'm also gonna take this variator bolt off so I can pull off the variator it's gonna make taking off this belt way easier there we go pull off the variator and now we got the clutch there's the variator we pulled off one thing I did do is I accidentally broke one of the fins off do not take off your variator with any kind of locking pliers all right, we pulled the clutch off, and now we need a, I believe this is a 1 in 7 16 socket. It goes right here. The only way we can do this is if I step right here, and I have a torque gun, and I just torque it, and I'm going to have to step right here so it doesn't just shoot and hit me in the head. Perfect. Don't lose it. Now here's the stock spring, and here's the, the 1500 RPM spring. It's not too big of a difference, but if I give them both my hardest, this one is stronger. So what you would do is just put this collar in. You got to grease it up first though. This grease isn't really what I would recommend because it's not really high temp. Your clutch is going to get hot. Healthy amounts. The old clutches come with collars, but the premium clutches actually come with bearings. That's something to keep in mind. So now you just want to go ahead and put your top plate back on and you want to compress it with your hands. Now you will need two people for this. It might be possible with only one person, but just for demonstration, I had my little sister come and help me. She screwed on the nut and then after that, I'm going to tighten it with the impact gun. Make sure you do not cross through it because that's going to be a bad idea, but... I just gave it all it's got for the final results. That's how it should look like. I'm happy. Yeah. The reason I don't want to replace these is because I basically have to idle higher for the clutch to engage. And for some purposes, like if I want to tow something, it might not be useful. Then you bridge this little gap here. So the pick's all the way across on the other side of the clutch. Pry up. And you can see the spring pops off. Then you just got to kind of work it out of the other side. Springs removed. You can repeat the process all the way around. Today is a different day and I just want to go into some detail about how the variator works and how to tune the variator. When you pull it off, there's two pieces to it. You got the washer, the cooling fan, 
pull the belt off and then you got this part of the variator now this is the tuning part of course I took it off the wrong way but there's some weights inside now these weights actually control how powerful the CVT switches into its overdrive and I'm actually going to be replacing these with heavier weights. Contrary to popular belief, heavier weights equal more top speed. Lighter weights equal better acceleration. A long time ago, I actually upgraded the weights to some lighter ones. These right here. Now, these were the stock ones. They're heavier. And I'm actually going to switch back to these. Just be careful not to lose them. I'm just going to spray everything down. I got all my CVT parts laid out right here. Now the question is, how would you assemble all this together? It's actually pretty simple. So you of course need to start with the variator. You would just put your rollers in. Pretty easy. Make sure they slide freely. So after putting the rollers in, you just get the star-shaped piece, put these little plastic stoppers on the ends, not really sure what they're called, and then just gently slide it over the top. Alright, that's the variator. All you would do is just push this in all the way, and you want to slide that sleeve in there all the way grab your clutch and slide it on there slide the belt on the nut perfect and then just like that make sure you have that fat washer on it and then you can just secure it with the nut And then you can go ahead and put the clutch bill on and secure that with the nut too. You can choose to tighten it to a torque spec, but I'm not really going to do that. I would strongly advise that y'all use a gun. Let's torque it down. Just a little bit. And then we'll do the variator. That's perfect. We're pretty much all set. All that's left to do is put this clutch cover on, which isn't that hard. And after this, I'll do a separate video of me just riding around with it, and I'll do an up-close look on how the CVT spins and works as I drive the thing around. But guys, I'm going to have to end it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing I'm trying to reach my goal of a thousand subscribers so guys help me out thank you for all of you that did subscribe but I'll see you all in the next video peace